hi everybody hope you're well nick from 360 big sky media with another video hope you've all had a great week it's been it's been interesting this week lots of new customers coming through so that's always great and um a big customer who wants all of his apartment shooting and we're going to use the assets to to create all of these tools which i'm really excited about um it should be over 100 which is which is quite good so today's video um i mentioned it in the last video that we did did you know you can download and self-host your own tours on Theasis? So in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to download them. It's really easy. Um, I'm not going to show you how to self-host them in this video because it's a little bit complicated and I'd rather save it for the next one. I host all of my virtual tours, whether I use Theasis downloaded tours or I also use another piece of software. I host them all on Amazon AWS why it's fast it's secure most of all it's really cheap i can create an iframe and i can send it over to the customer so let me give you an example of something that is hosted by me on amazon you probably won't see any difference to what you would do on theasis itself and to be honest theasis hosts all of their tours themselves the ones that you get which are published on amazon aws so there isn't a huge benefit for doing this apart from maybe the customer wants it actually on a url which you can do through amazon if you go into a little bit more complicated stuff such as glacier and cloudfront etc but nine times out of ten my customers are more than happy with me sending over an iframe well a java link um, which is what i normally send over but let me just show you very very quickly so as you can see from this tour this is hosted on amazon s3 um, and this is hosted for the customer is it any quicker um i i don't know um is it is it any cleaner no is it any more secure well no it's the same platform that the asus host their tours on so it's you know it's, it's negligible why you would do this um, the process is really really simple to do it's not a complicated process it's very very easy um, this is just a tour i did for one of my real estate customers um, nothing particularly exciting or flash or anything um, out of the ordinary with it so how do we do that it's really really simple if we go into virtual tours this is our demonstration tour and all we're going to do is download now a couple of things that you need to be aware of if you are on the pay as you go option you will pay um, and you will pay to download each tour at a cost of ten dollars if you are on the annual account you will not pay anything at the moment the guys are working on themes to download but we're going to just say um, this is a theasis download and we give it the name um, and we press test and you can see i've already downloaded this one down on the sixth just just to go and see how we do so we'll call a test one and we'll press download and we'll get this little pop-up that'll come up and say success uh, note we're preparing you to for download it usually takes five to ten minutes when you're ready we'll, you'll get an email and you will get an email through to whichever account you've got set up on this and that'll tell you that you're ready to go so you can see this little clock and it tells me that it's pending but let me download this one here which we've already got so all we've done is download and you can see it's downloading a tour which is at the moment 37 megabytes in size let me just extract that and again you can see it doesn't take long to extract once it's extracted you'll find you've got all your assets in the folder so in case people were interested the size of that folder is 41 megabytes inside of the two you've got your assets which is everything that we've done so you can go into the panoramas and all of your panoramas are in there the thumbnails the desktop versions whichever ones you want um any music your hotspots everything's in there that you would want along with um, anything else you'll also have the config javascript file 
You'll also have the index HTML if you're going to do some local hosting and you'll also have a readme file. And the readme file will tell you how to normally set up your hosting. So you'll see, uh, please note that the provided files need to be placed on a server in order for the tour to run. You can do it offline if you have a local server. I use the online one and what we need to do is go into the config.js file and we need to edit that and then we need to um, give it its home. Why would you do that? As I see it, it seems an awful lot of work. Um, I've been asked by three customers if they could self-host it themselves. The positives are if you charge for hosting, um, the other, the other program I use, I, I self-host all of my tours. If you charge for hosting, you can charge that out to the customer at whatever you want to charge them. So you can get a little bit of extra revenue. You can deliver a package that they can use themselves and they can host it on their website themselves. So it means you, you're not responsible once you've handed that over, the job is done and you can walk away. Couple of the negatives though that I think you should understand. The negatives are any edits that you do to that tour, you have got to download it again, and then you've got to re-upload it again to your preferred hosting service. Whereas when we do Theasis, we can go back in and we can do any edits we want. Why is that significant? With all the updates that came in, when Floating Arrows came in, when new hotspots came in, when all of this good stuff came in and the guy's done a huge update, it was really easy. You just had to open the tour in Theasis, go through the new, new features, change that over, and you're done. And if the customer's got that hosted on their site as a, as a Java, it automatically updates on their website for them. If you've got to download it, you've got to do all the updates, download it, and then upload it to your preferred server. However, that's how you do it, some people have asked. Hope this makes sense. Hope everybody's good. In the next video, what we'll do is we will um, show you how I host this on Amazon, and I'll talk you through that process. Have a great week. I'm going to sit here and finish my coffee because it's Sunday before I go out for lunch. Have an amazing week. See you later, guys. Bye.